What's up guys, this is Ashley Gillard and I'm coming forward with a message, Twin Flame Soulmate message for the collective for August 5th, 2019. Spirit told me to focus on divine feminine, masculine, and twin flame readings to provide balance and clarity into those um, who are on this journey lives. So here I am and I'm going to focus on that until spirit leaves me otherwise or until I see fit. Today's message is a beautiful message. It's so beautiful and peaceful. I just had to post it right now. The message of today is the overall energy of the reading. <laughs> um, we have the Queen of Swords and we have the Autumn card. Autumn could, could attune to a time period where it's more balanced for you. Ooh, but right under the Autumn card, we have Winter, which is wow. So yeah, things are going to shift for you this year. Things are going to shift for you very soon. Things are actually shifting now during Leo season. Leo season is about getting putting the work in to manifest. It's harvest season. The, um, I refer to Leo season as harvest season because that's what it is. That's what's been revealed to me in my readings and the readings that I've performed for others. So we have the, clear, the Queen of Swords and Autumn card. The Queen of Swords is clarity. Um, being very clear, you know, sometimes it can mean several different things, but today it's just meaning being in control, having clarity, being, having clarity of thought, clarity of mind, being in tune with your spirit and, also, and knowing who you are. And you also have the autumn card, which could attune to a time period of, um, more peace, but this is also about now releasing the old and Surrendering to the process and resting and releasing things that no longer serve your best interest or your best purpose. And you have eight of coins right under the queen of swords, which, you know, is focusing on your work, focusing on mastering your craft and your talents and your goals. I literally just said it was harvest season. It was a scripture that says it's stupid during harvest season, it's stupid to sleep. It's smart to work hard and stupid to sleep. And then you have the Eight of Coins right underneath the Queen of um, Swords. Clarifying what I just said about it being harvest season and the Seven of Coins right under there building. Building and preparing for harvest. Preparing for autumn. Preparing for better times. Um, I also pulled some Oracle cards to go with this deck. We have Be the Light and we have Sage. I don't know why they call it White Witch, but we're going to go with what they call it. Be the Light and Sage. These cards are so beautiful. Be devoted and committed and be the light. This is about surrendering to the process, releasing negativity, releasing control, and surrendering to the process, and being in tune with the light inside of you, with your journey, the following the light. This spiritual journey, this twin flame, soul flame, um, soulmate journey, is about becoming one with yourself first and surrendering to the light and surrendering to the process knowing that it's leading you to more happier times we have the ace of cups as the last card here let me see if y'all can see it a little better but um yeah so it's like being the light following the light and being in tune with the light that you have inside of you being clear about who you are as a person your light if you're on this journey you are a vessel of light on earth and you must first become in tune and balanced within yourself so that you can know yourself and you can be used for the betterment of others. Then you have Sage, be devoted and committed regardless of the outcome, regardless of the process, regardless of whatever's going on. You must remain, remain diligent, devoted, and be willing to go through the process regardless of what's happening. You have the Four of Cups as the first hero. And that's saying no to things that don't serve you. This is... This isn't this isn't negative. This is positive. It's saying no to things that don't resonate with your spirit. Saying no to your negative thoughts. Saying no to people, places, and things that don't resonate with the light, that don't resonate with your purpose, that don't resonate with becoming one with yourself and leading you towards your journey. But it's also saying no to overwhelming thoughts about the twin flame journey and who it is and why it is and when you're gonna come together. Saying no to all of that. And just releasing it and being okay with the outcome and being okay with divine timing, knowing that it's all leading you to where it's supposed to 
better um, new beginnings, better times, reconciliation, or even union with your divine partner, regardless of whether you know them or not. A lot of us know our divine partner, but you know, but it's about union within yourself as well, and becoming one with yourself, and being willing to see the journey through. Then you have Knight of Swords, clarifying everything I just said. Being willing to follow the journey until it's being willing to do it until it's completed. There is the Knight of Swords does not take no for an answer. The Knight of Swords continue on the journey until it's completed. You fight through it. You pick up your swords and you fight through it. You get through it. You remain focused. You remain determined and diligent and devoted and committed. And you get exactly what it is you're supposed to get at the end of this journey. Why? Because you didn't quit. I was listening to one of Nipsey Hussle songs. What is it? Perfect 10. And Nipsey said what distinguished him from others is that he didn't quit. It wasn't more knowledge. It wasn't more money. It wasn't more power. It was that he didn't quit. This is what it's about as a chosen one, as a person on a spiritual journey, as a twin flame, as a person on the journey of balancing their yin-yang, balancing their divine, masculine, and feminine energies. Being devoted to that because you know it leads you to your higher self. It leads you to better times. It leads you to more light and more life. Then you have the King of Cups. Again, balance. Regardless of regardless of the waters around him, he's balanced, he's calm, and he has his cup because he knows what's owed to him. And he knows that remaining calm continuously puts him in a position to receive. Um, he's in your side. He's in the spiritual realm of receiving. He knows that to be aligned with your side, he has to remain calm. He had, And it's a part of his nature now because he's clear about who he is. He has clarity of thought and who he is. He's released old patterns, and I'm just saying he, it could be she too, old patterns and old negative things that no longer serve him, and he's not letting the chaos around him to distract him from his goals. He's balanced, she's balanced, and not losing that balance because of the circumstances around him. It's so many things going on in the world right now. The attacks, the terrorism, personal issues going on in people's lives. Um, it's just so much losing loved ones. And sometimes you have to remove your energy from the situations, from the chaos around you, so that you can remain balanced and in tune with yourself, in tune with the light, and in tune with your masculine energy so that you can manifest your connection with your divine partner, your connection with yourself, and the life that you've dreamed of. It's going to take balance. It's going to take balance. It's going to take diligence. It's going to take devotion, commitment, determination. It's going to take saying no to things that don't serve you, walking away from people, places, and things that no longer resonate with who your higher vibration. Things that, saying no to things that's trying to knock you off balance. Saying no to the opposition. Saying no to being the own, your own opposition. It's about remaining on the journey until complete regardless of what's going on. And you can do that and do that in a, once you find yourself and you're clear about who you are and, and you know that, yes, this is happening. Yes, I am on a spiritual journey. Yes, I'm used for the betterment of humanity, for the light of others, to lead others to whatever purpose that you were created for. You remain balanced and you remain solid on a rock until forever. You just remain balanced, period, because you've learned more about yourself. You're clear about who you are in your journey, and you know that. You know how the opposition uses chaos and things around you to keep you off your square, but you don't longer, you no longer let it happen. That's what it's going to take. And the result is the Ace of Cups. This is happiness. This is your cup running over. Look at the, the birds. What are they? Does what are they? They're representing freedom. It doesn't look like a duck. But they represent freedom and liberation. The cup represents your cup of emotions running over. But abundance and fulfillment and happiness and being in a place of peace and being at a place of fulfillment and happiness in your life because you saw the journey through. People who quit don't see this. People who quit don't get here. 
I don't know what's going on in your life. I don't know what's going on in your union. I don't know what's going on in your world. We know what's going on in the United States. It's chaos. Um, it could be a lot of us who are light workers and on the twin flame journey have been displaced, have transitioned, have moved, have been through so much in this retrograde period. But it's moving, it's leading us to who we are, it's leading us to wholeness of and clarity of who we are in this journey and leading us to our purpose and manifestation of our goals and dreams. And if you continue on this path and you trust the process, you remain committed and devoted, you work on your craft, you build yourself up, you build your business, you build whatever masculine energy that you're in tune with, and you remain balanced and in control of your vessel, in control of your emotions, in control of how you react to things. You're proactive instead of reactive. You have your ego in control. You don't let things bother you like you used to. You remain balanced and, and you work until it manifests because it's inevitable. It's going to happen if you follow these steps, if you continue forward, if you continue on this journey, it's going to happen for you. Union is going to happen for you with your divine partner. Union within yourself is going to happen for you. Um, happiness and fulfillment, abundance, blessings, financial freedom, being free, it's inevitable. But you have to keep going. So I'm going to leave it at there. That's a good note. We already know if we continue, we have the Ace of Cups. And who doesn't want the Ace of Cups? So keep working. I wish you love, light, and more life. Click the link in my description and see the services that I can offer you. I have books, The Power of I Am, Dream, The Spiritual Pathway to Success, The Personification of Beauty. I think that's going to be the book of choice that I promote this month. I co-authored a book with my girlfriends and... I don't, feel, I don't think I've put enough energy into promoting it. So order the personification of beauty um, if you want inspiration as, as a woman or you have a daughter or a friend that needs some womanly inspiration. My friends have been through so much and I have been through so much and we put our heart and soul into this book and showing women that we've done it in the past, we're doing it now, and you can do it too. I wish you love, light, and more life. Peace. Come to the edge, he said. We might fall, they said. Come to the edge, he said. It's too high, they said. Come to the edge, he said. They came, he pushed them, and they flew. This what God's like.